What is happening, YouTube? How y'all doing today? It is Joe. It is Friday. Welcome to Friday. Welcome to Just Your Average Joe reseller channel. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Uh, I've been reselling full time for eight ish years, but I've been buying and selling stuff on eBay for 24 years since 2000. Long, long time. Uh, about to be 25 years here. Come soon. Uh, come, come, come the new year. Um, but anyway, hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Hopefully your sales are going pretty well. Um, sales, I only had like four sales, but we had a good dollar amount. Uh, finally had, uh, we talked about some of my football cards I had put up year, a couple years ago when I first started this eBay account. Um, my old eBay account, I don't use much anymore. That's the one I've had open since 2000, but this one, when I, when I relaunched, uh, selling, well, I was going to sell sports memorabilia only, um, on eBay, I created a new account. Long story short, the cards have been sitting on there for a long time. I sell one every once in a blue moon. Finally sold a Saquon Barkley because he's hot. And I had two of them up. Hopefully the other one will sell. I got an offer on it, but on the other one, actually, ironically enough, but um, not quite where I want it to be. Um, so we'll go over that uh, here shortly. We got some comments to cover. We got some sales to cover. And I may pack with you guys on camera with me. And then uh, I have a deal to do. Um, I saw a Bose Sound Touch 20 and Sound Touch 30, a guy selling both of them with remotes for um my on yeah for uh two two seventy five is what he was asking i asked him if he take 250 he said yes he's only about 30 minutes away so i'm gonna go pick him up after this and then grab me some lunch uh if you don't know anything about the bow sound touch 30 and 20s they go i think the 20 goes for like 200 on ebay and then the 30 goes for like 300 or so on ebay so i figure for 250 it's worth the 30 minute drive back and forth uh, for a potential after fees, maybe a 200 ish dollar profit, 175, 200. Um, I always try to go premium with, with bows. They both looked in nice condition. They both had the remotes, the power cables. Um, it's an older gentleman and I guess he's just not using them anymore. He said they both work. So, you know, um, there's that. So, um, so that'll be a nice pickup for today. Um, turn in 250 into maybe 250, um, <clears throat> uh, maybe even a little bit more. Um, uh, some of them go, the 20, some of them have gone up as high as 220 or so. Uh, the 30 summer is up as some, some of them have sold for like 350, 375. Um, you know, but on average about two to 300 is, is, uh, or, you know, about two to two to three, 320 is where you're at with them. So, uh, you know, five to 550, I would say is, is, uh, when it's all said and done. So not too bad. Um, but anyway, that's all I got for you guys as far as that goes. Uh, let's go ahead and dive into comments and get started for the day. Uh, first, well, first comment through this time was Mark that says, "Go live, Mark. You, you man, you, you, you're you're uh, you're chasing uh, Fart Sack Jack's coattails, man. What's up with that? You're the first one live this time. I like it. Uh, Fart Sack Jack just replies and says, "Yes, yes, yes. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Uh, as always, let me reply, give you guys a couple thumbs up and some hearts." Um, Appreciate y'all. Fartsack Jack says, hey, Joe, Mark says go live. <laughs> uh, hey, look, we're at we're at uh, we're we've we've we crossed over the 690 threshold. We're at 692. I think when I looked at it last this morning, uh, it's a little brisk today. I'm a little chilly. Um, but anyway, um, we're at 692 subscribers. So we're knocking at the 700 door and then and then it's off to 800. You know what I mean? So we'll get there man we'll, we'll get to the lives i promise i still didn't get to do my video editing because last night i was up till about one o'clock in the morning taking pictures of 24 systems that i had laying around upstairs bundled up tested cleaned ready to go they just was laying all over my couches and my floors and my any open space in my bonus room i had i had a bundled system hanging around uh that i'm meaning to put up i've just been you know, little by little tinkering with stuff, cleaning stuff, processing stuff and putting it in bundles. Um, and so this morning I, 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 last night I did all the pictures, put them all in the white boxes. I've got 16 more boxes upstairs. I got to bring down and, and find homes for them down here somewhere. And, uh, so that's what I did last night was I went ahead and hammered out all of the systems, got them all pictured. And then this morning for the past hour and a half ish, I've been just listing, listing, listing. So I've put up pretty much almost all of those systems some good stuff. OGX boxes, Wii U's, uh, Nintendo's, PS3's. Uh, I mean, the list goes on. So 
Uh, my bonus room, uh, right now I have three switches upstairs that I also processed last night and bundled together and, and ready to go. I got one that I'm waiting on a Joy-Con to come back on. Um, hopefully it'll be another week or two and then I'll get be able to get that one knocked out. And then uh, and so I technically have four switches upstairs. One, uh, three that I'm going to get pictures of today and get those up today because that's 200 bucks, 220 a pop on each of those. Um, and I think, I think I'm going to be cleared out through, actually I have two systems on my table that smelled really bad. Uh, they smell like pee. They don't have bugs in them. Uh, I know that, but I, I froze them. So I know there's no bugs in them, at least alive, but it does smell like pee. It came from a guy that I bought that I buy stuff from pretty regularly. And he has animals and lizards and all sorts of stuff. So that dander is like all over everything. So the games I got from him were really good games, but I had to clean them all, you know, and sanitize them all. Cause they kind of had a little funk to them. Now they're fine. Um, the systems I froze just in case there was any bugs. And then, uh, and then now they're just sitting there. So there's an Xbox 360 Reach, a uh, Halo Reach edition with the controller. So I think those are like $150 for, the, for, for that, for that bundle uh, with a bunch of games. And then um, another PS2 sitting over there, fat PS2. So um, I do need to get, it, test those and see if they fire up and work. If they do, then I'm going to clean them up really good and, 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 you know, get some of that smell out of them. And hopefully that, you know, put some dryer sheets up to them, power them up, let them, let them let them vent themselves through with some dryer sheet uh, smelly goodness and try to get that piss smell out. A lot of that smell comes out with just wiping it down because a lot of it's just on the exterior. It's not from the inside because it's not from bugs, but the, it's weird how people's houses can be so nasty that all their shit ends up having like a film residue on it from all their animals, especially if I guess if you have reptiles and things like that. And I don't know if he has them just run loose around the house. I don't really know, but he, I wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me because the type of duty is, but, uh, you know, and then that breeds bugs and shit. So I, I don't understand how people do that kind of stuff, but to each his own people do their thing. And there's some nasty people in this world and whatever. I've just, i am anyway. So my, my plan is at some point today or tomorrow to get through those two systems too. And, uh, but I don't want to clean anything until I fire them up and make sure they work. Cause I'm not trying to, if they don't work, I'm not trying to mess with them. I'll just, sell them as parts and repair and keep it moving but if they work and fire up and then i'll take the time to clean them up that's just how i how i do uh because obviously i don't want to take time processing stuff that doesn't work and cleaning stuff that doesn't work and getting all nasty and ugh, if it doesn't work and wasting cleaning supplies if it doesn't work so anyway but i always freeze anything that i have a question on and it started uh a while back because i had we had a little scare with german roaches um is I have anything that I think could potentially have bugs in it, then I freeze it uh, for two days and then I let it thaw out and air out and dry out and do its thing. And so far, I haven't had any issues uh, with like the systems not firing. I mean, obviously, I don't know if they work before or after, but the ones that I've done so far have fired up since I put them in the freezer and did work. So I would say that it's a low chance that you're going to break anything putting it in the freezer uh, you know, it's I'd rather be safe and not bring in German roaches and getting an infestation because they, they'd have a heyday in my, in my garage. Cause there's so many cracks, crevices and things to get into. So, and then the house, which my wife would have a fucking, she would be, she'd be irate. I mean, she's a anti huge anti bug scared of to death of any kind of bug, even, but even ladybugs. So a, a, a roach issue would be my ass. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get started for the day. I'll stop rambling. So, uh, and Mark, uh, let's see. Hey, hey uh, Mark says go live. Yes. Uh, then Farsag Jack also says you're still going to get in trouble even after the sale. Naughty fella. Uh, what you say? What you, what you talking about? Oh, you're talking about for the, for the, for the, the guy game. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, look, I'm gonna try. I haven't gotten there yet, but I'm gonna try. Phantom says, um, everything bagel, Joe. Fart Sag Jack and Mark will get their moment when you go live. Maybe a thousand, the thousand subscriber special. Uh, co live split screen with Fart Sag Jack talking eBay and <laughs> green nuggets. Uh, smoking his, smoking his cheek and chong, and we can go live together, right? I can put you on a split screen. Yeah, you know, we can do that. You know, I can bring some of y'all on camera with me. I don't mind. Um, time, to fi- time to modify your Sega Dreamcast. I was thinking it needed new capacitors, but graphics card is tricky. Yeah, I went down the rabbit hole. I seen the capacitor thing with all that, and uh, you know, so. But I'm from what I'm gauging from what it's doing, it's video chip. The video chip's going bad. So at that point, it's kind of like I'm just going to use the lens on the next Dreamcast or the shell 
because sometimes you come across dream casts that are yellowed and kind of janky, you know, and so either the shell because the shell's in good shape or the, or the laser. Um, I don't normally keep systems for doing that kind of stuff. Normally I just buy the part if I need the part. Um, and I just sell the systems for parts and repair, but, um, I, I, I came across all of these and they're in pretty good condition. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep the ones cause it does fire up and it does load discs. So I'll keep it in case I get another dreamcast, not in case when I eventually come across another dreamcast that doesn't load discs cause they're pretty notorious for not loading discs. So, um, but anyway, um, always hire a professional unless you're experienced. Uh, I, you know what my, my motto is if it's broke anyway, fuck with it. And if you break it more, fuck it, just sell it for parts and repair. You know what I mean? It's already broke anyway. It already ain't working. So what the, who the it, it, tinker with it and see what happens. That's kind of my motto. Um, <laughs> thank you always for the videos and knowledgeable nuggets. Well, thank you Phantom for hanging out with me. Uh, as always, let's uh, reply to you as well. Uh, next one up is Ringo the Dingo from, from down in Australia. Uh, when anything goes wrong, I always blame my missus too. Facts. <laughs> It was her fault that I didn't get that stuff out, man. Exactly. That's, you know, I blame her. It's all her fault. Uh, next one up is Jesus. Jesus says exactly. Never buy new furniture. That is the biggest scam in America. Clean and steam and use a recliner and used recliner. You just saved yourself 150 bucks. That being said, my wife just bought a new living room set. Go, go. Average Joe. Cheers, mate. I will say you're, here's the thing. My, I'm not a huge fan of like used furniture personally. Uh, and the shit is way overpriced when you buy it in the store. So I get that, but being in a military town, I, I, I'm, if any of y'all are in a military town, I, I'm sure, you know, it, you come across really clean, nice stuff all the time. Price cheap as hell. They just bought it a year ago and now they're PCSing somewhere else. And you know what I mean? And now they're, they're, you're just dumping it because they got a sign on bonus. So they're just like, fuck it. I'll buy another two thousand dollar couch in my next spot because i'm getting a fifteen thousand dollar sign on you know what i mean so they're they're just dumping the old one and because they don't want to fuck with with you know with with moving it and fucking with it so you washers and dryers the same thing like you know I, there's no shame in my game we needed a new set of washers and dryers we got a set from a from an army family that was pcsing and they were they were pff, almost brand spanking new man i mean you know probably i don't know what they retail together I, i'd imagine twenty five hundred dollars we got them for six hundred bucks maybe even three thousand dollars for this set it was a nice uh was it a whirlpool i believe they are um yeah whirlpool if i'm not mistaken but a very nice set the extra large capacity and and uh and uh yeah so anyway again no shame in my game when it comes to that kind of stuff uh but furniture a little different um unless it's coming from a clean a clean household and it's not very old but that happens all the time here, here in, uh, in old Fayetteville, North Carolina, because you got so many military folks coming and going. So anyway, uh, Jesus, again, thank you for your, uh, for your comment and your support as always, just like the rest of y'all. I appreciate y'all. Um, Justin Jacobs, uh, says, I just found your channel. What state are you in? Justin Jacobs. I appreciate you hanging out. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you hang around with us for a while and, uh, and enjoy the content. Uh, I'm just raw and unedited in me, man. That's that's how we do around here. I'm, I'm going to try to do a little bit more GoPro action and show you guys me out in the field. Um, but for the most part, this is how we do around here. And then I'll, I'll add that as an extra layer uh, here um, soon. I'm going to try to start doing that at least once a week or once every two weeks, drop one of those uh, episodes where I'm showing myself out in the field, getting stuff and sourcing. But I'm actually in North Carolina, Fayetteville area uh, here in North Carolina. Good old North Cackalack. So where are you at, uh, Justin Jacobs? What part of the what part of the what, what part of the world or country are you in? Um, and thank you for hanging out. Thank you. Hopefully you've subscribed. Um, and uh, yeah, and if anything I can do to help, questions, anything, man, we're here. That's what that's what I'm around here. That's what we're, that's what we do this for. Uh, Winston Wolf says raw and honest, Joe. Uh, love it. I love. Yeah, man. That's how we, you know how we do. Winston Wolf, thank you as well. I thank you. Uh, and why froggy? NY Froggy says started selling a little over a month ago. It's been up and down, but it's just a side thing for me now that I would love for it to be a full time thing. It gets uh, uh, thing is gets going how I want it to go. Um, been selling cameras, PS2 games, and coins, bank notes. Uh, this video was refreshing. Well, NY Froggy, I appreciate you watching. Um, uh, uh, hey, I'm I'm here to help. I'm glad that you're new to the game. 
there's enough room in this thing for everybody. There's a, there's a, there's enough room on the top of the mountain for all of us. Um, so if there's anything we can do here or I can do to help questions about packing, taxes, sourcing, eBay, you name it, any hurdles you come across, situations you come across on eBay that are like, how do I, how do I deal with this customer, this situation, anything you happen to have, man, I, I, I love diving into stuff. I've probably had it happen and experienced it myself. And I always, the best source of, of, uh, of, uh, of information, probably not, but I'm, I'm up there, I would say. So I can certainly help and at least guide you in the right direction, or at least have had that situation and can give you my two cents from what I did in my experience, you know, uh, as one person said, you probably shouldn't give tax advice. Well, you're probably right, but I can only tell you how I do my thing. I think it was Mark that said that or somebody else. I can't remember. Maybe it was, yeah, I can't remember. But anyway, you're probably right, but I'm going to give you how I do stuff for the most part. And you can take what you want and hopefully you get a little out of it. And that's great. And that goes long for everything, anything and everything under the sun. Um, throw it at me. I, I enjoy talking about stuff and kind of diving into topics. So welcome to the channel. Hopefully you subscribed as well. And hopefully we see you around more often and uh, keep keep sourcing, keep picking, keep going. It is up and down, man. I've been doing it a long time. It's it's a roller coaster always. So uh, don't ever get discouraged. Hopefully you have room. Uh, that would be the biggest thing probably is space is probably the biggest thing is space. So uh, and, 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 and describe your stuff, any issues or flaws, make sure you describe it. And put it in the description portion of your of the listing. Whatever issues or flaws, make sure you disclose those things. Don't do an AI bullshit description. Just put in what the item is. I usually take the title and the and just throw it in the description, and then I just add another sentence of whatever flaw, condition, and flaws. Condition and flaws. I'd say those are condition and flaws. We're gonna we're gonna make it so keep it simple. Like I think Jesus said, uh, keep it simple, Sally. Uh, condition and flaws. Description condition and flaws, keep it simple. And, and you should be good to go. It shouldn't, you know, uh, obviously you want to source things that are going to sell quicker, but I mean, I source things that sell slow as shit. So, I mean, you're, you're, you're never going to hit home. You're not always going to be hitting home runs, but you do want to have space because that's going to happen a lot where something sells for X, but it's going to sit for six months. It's just going to happen. So, um, I, I mean, not, not some people are just have the, have, are in a blessed area and just have, are just way better than me and can source things and sell them within a week of getting them and get them out and get them going. And that's great. And so that's, so again, that's why I'm just your average Joe. I'm just telling you, like in most cases, shit's going to sit. Some things are going to sell fast. Some things are going to sell slow. You need to have space. That's, that's, uh, that's what I, that's, that's my other nugget I'll throw at you. So, um, the next one is the dark 25 says, I wish you the best as well with your sales, Joe. Um, I have a fire lid under, I have, I have a fire lit under me to, to list things. I started a listing challenge with my sister, uh, 30 items a week, death pile. Here I come. Hey, you know, that's, this is the time to do it. If you're going to do it, man, get it up, get it going. That's why I did the systems. I've literally put up 24 game systems this morning. Um, because it's fourth quarter and, and I'm shooting the moon on them and I'm not priced competitively. I already know how it goes. I have, I've shot the moon on all of them, but a lot of times during this time of year, if you're going to get what, if you're going to get the moon price, it's going to be around this time. So that's why I shot the, well, I always shoot the moon regardless, but that I always start at least high. That's just how I do things. That's how I operate. It's not probably the best way to go if you want to move stuff and keep cash flowing, but that's how I do because it is nice when you post something for 200 and the high comp is 200 and it sells for 200, like, fuck yeah. And then there's times where that, that item sits for six months and then you eventually bring it down to like 160 and then boom, it finally sells. And you're like, man, you know, so it is what it is. But, uh, but I always start high because in many, in a lot of cases, I do get the high comp because I do put extra work into my listings as far as cleaning my game systems, cleaning everything up, bundling it all together, making it look crispy and nice and clean um, and sanitized. And, and yeah, so anyway, but uh, the Dark 25 Twitch, keep on, keep it on, keep on listing and uh, get those items up, man. Get them items up. I'm right, I'm right there with you. Uh, my next, my next, my next chunk to dive into is that video game pile I have upstairs, and then I have a whole pile of like handhelds and things like that that I got to get through. They're all clean. They're all tested. They're all ready to go. They all have their chargers and all that kind of stuff. Like I just got a Vita, beautiful Vita for like 
70 bucks man this thing is mint gonna put it up for 179.99 it is mint comes with the original charger comes with the memory card uh it's been reset ready to go fucking looks like it just came out the box man but i'm gonna go shoot for the moon on it hell maybe even 200 um but anyway um uh, yeah i'm right there with you that's all the comments that we got let's move on to sales and this will be a shorter video or more of a normal short maybe short video than normal uh but we have four sales between yesterday and today four sales for 417.52 so we we smashed goal we doubled the goal for the day which is amazing um so right now it being friday we're on pace going into the weekend to hit goal as long as we can keep this momentum going i'm, I'm on pace to hit goal for the first time in a while last week i this past uh was it tuesday my deposits are on tuesday tuesday i deposited like 270 so i was like 130 bucks away from goal my goal is 200 a day or 14 for the week because you're gonna have high days you're gonna have low days you know, but 1400 for the week, 200 a day on average. Uh, right now I'm at right at like $900 through the week. And so hopefully between now and Monday, we can, we can hammer out a good weekend and hit goal for the first time in a, in a while. Hopefully that happens. We'll just see how things go. If it's anything like last weekend, last weekend was dead. I did 300 bucks. So we'll see how it goes. The weekend before smashed it at like seven or something or eight. I can't remember what it was. It was, it was, I had a great weekend. So we'll just see what happens, but uh, uh, it's it's chilly. I'm, I, I got a little shiver to me. Um, so the first thing that sold was that Saquon Barkley, as I mentioned. Um, I do have another one up, but Saquon is killing it right now. So somebody offered me. I had this up for $250. Uh, I, I don't remember. It's, it's been like three years since I bought it, maybe even four years since I bought it. Uh, Saquon Barkley rookie card um, out of certified. It's a 9.5 Beckett. Um, I want to say I spent maybe 50 bucks on it possibly, but I sent it out to get graded. That's about another 15, 20 bucks a card. So I'm, I'm I'd imagine I'm in it about $70, give or take. And it just sold for two fifteen, which is great because I've been sitting on it forever. Um, cause he sucked with the Eagles and now he's or not with the, uh, with the giants and now he's with the Eagles and he's smashing, uh, um, inventing his own moves and jumping over people backwards it's crazy but uh he's doing it so i just a lot of times guys like this i just want to move and get rid of because i don't think long term saquon barkley is going to be like a uh like a barry sanders kind of guy emmett smith you know what i mean like he, he's he's solid he's good running back he's got some hype right now let's dump him and get rid of him that's uh and i and i and i know a lot about cards so if any of you guys are card guys and you want to talk cards at all i'm a big card guy i know about cards um I'll just say that. I think if you've seen my bonus vi or my, my video from upstairs, in my bonus room, you see all the cards laying around my, my bonus room. I, that's my passion. I love cards. Um, next thing that sold. So that 215 is what that sold for 215. Uh, next thing that sold was. Oh, that's not it. A purple Game Boy. I need to get more. Hand I need to get all my handhelds up because I'm I don't have many handhelds left right now because I've been selling through them all. I think, I think I have like probably 20 handhelds sitting upstairs. Yeah, at least 15. But a purple Game Boy with some games uh, in very nice condition. Uh, this sold for $85 plus shipping. A broken PS Vita. A broken PlayStation Vita. Um, I tried to repair it. Uh, it, it. I got it from a guy that said it needed the screen. So I bought the screen. I tried to repair it. And it, the screen that I got from eBay only, it was supposed to be brand new. It was brand new apparently, but it was broke right out the gate. So only half of the screen worked. So I was like, son of a bitch. So I bought a second, returned that one, bought a second screen. As I'm trying to install the second screen, I broke the pin, my big fat hands and non-steady hands. I broke the pin that, that the ribbon cable, um, so it's a ribbon cable that basically connects to the board and there's a pin like a like a door that kind of just like closes on the ribbon cable. And I don't know how I did it, but I ended up smashing and breaking that door so the ribbon cable wouldn't stay connected. If you hold it, it'll fire up and it works. But I don't know how I don't know how to fix the door and that's going to call that's going to be soldering. Um and fucking with it so much, I ended up fucking bending some of the pins in there that the, that the ribbon cable lays on. So they're not straight anymore. They're like all like crooked and shit because they're super fragile. They're little, I mean, they're microscopic um, little wires um, that, that are on that connector. 
So I, I went ahead and just took the loss, took the, took the L on it. Um, I didn't return that, the, the screen. I left the screen in it that's in it. Um, the original screen was, it didn't actually, it never it actually didn't even have the original screen in it because the guy that sold it to me said all it needed was a screen. The screen was already taken out of it. So I took the loss on the screen. The screen is in it. If the guy can get it working, the screen should work. Um, but there's that. Make sure my mail lady's not here. Uh, but this sold for $40 plus shipping. So there's that. $40 plus shipping. I should have taken the battery out of it and kept the battery, but it is what it is. Uh, you can always use an extra PSP battery because I come across them and, five, and nine times out of ten, they don't have the batteries in them. Um, and then a Tar Heels jacket. A Tar Heels jacket. Look, more clothes getting out of here. More clothes getting out of here. More clothes getting out of here. Without measurements. Clothes without measurements. Did I ever tell you guys I hate clothes? But I source them because they do sell. We've been, we've been hammering out some clothes lately. All through the summer, man, barely sold any clothes. Now it's winter time because it's a lot of winter stuff. Here we go. Uh, so is this one it? This one ain't it. Is this one it? Nope, that one ain't it. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. That's not the right one. Um, let's, let's find the right one. I did find that other jacket yesterday, by the way, guys. I did find it. It was in that bin. It was just it was it was a reversible jacket, so it was turned inside out, so it didn't look right. It didn't it didn't look right. So when I was looking for it, it was like, is this it? When I was looking for it, it just it it, it I couldn't find it because it didn't look right because it was it was reversed to the other side. Is this one it? I don't think this one's it either. Is it a Nike? Man, I should have looked, huh? That ain't it either, is it? Yeah, Nike, blue zip. Let me get a bit of a bigger picture. That'll help. Yes, this is it. All right. So I uh, sold this for $30. $30 plus shipping, right? So Nike, I'm, I think I'm no more in this thing, no more than five bucks. I don't normally spend a lot on clothes. Uh, uh, it's a Nike, like wind windbreaker jacket, Nike windbreaker jacket. So for $30 plus shipping. So there's that. So not a bad score um and that's it guys that's the video that's all we got in fact i'll stay on with you guys and pack because uh you know why not i'll stay on i'll stay on with you guys and pack here real quick so that way you know if you're if you're doing your your thing let me put this down a little bit you can kind of see what i'm doing sort of so if you're doing your thing uh you can kind of you know we can we can do our thing together uh and do packing together that's probably not a good one to put that in. Um, oh, here's here's the what's his name? The the dude that talked about reusing reusing bubble mailers. Oh, here we go, reusing bubble mailers. Uh oh, I'm I'm gonna lose business, not have customers. Was it Rick? Was it that guy? Yep, it was that guy, right? That guy Rick. That guy Rick knows so much, man. He's been in business for thirty some years. And, uh, you know, we got to treat our business like Louis Vuitton, man. Gotta, you know what I mean? So there's, there's that. There's one down. Uh, in fact, let me hold on. Um, let's go get shipping labels. What's next? Next is the Game Boy. Uh, let's weigh this. This shouldn't be more than, yeah, four ounces like I thought. All right, so four ounces there. Next one is the Game Boy. Let me use a little box on that Game Boy. That's a little too small. Let's use a little box for the Game Boy. No, we'll use this one. A little box on the Game Boy. Um, yeah, four game. I try to bundle bundle the the even even the handhelds. I try to bundle um, systems or games with them, just because like you know it's. And reuse bubble wrap. Why not? Right? I mean, come on. I'm trying to save some trees around here. I'm trying to save some trees around here. You know what I mean? Reuse bubble wrap too. Why not? What's wrong with that? Um, but yeah, even with handhelds, I try to bundle systems. That guy that wanted to like... Y'all remember the comment, the guy that wanted to, like, do a pack, packing war with me because he said he can pack better than me? That just, that just crossed my mind. 
I'm like, is this a competition? I didn't realize this was a competition. Okay. All right, there's that. What does this one weigh? 14 ounces. 15 ounces. I'll take it. Uh, same same price. Doesn't matter. Let's see. Zero. 15. Is that my wife? My wife's coming home. Yes, it is. Uh, next one up is the PSP. I think I'm going to just... I think I'm going to just... Wrap this and put it in a bubble mailer. I think I'm just going to wrap it pretty good and put it in a bubble mailer. I got so much bubble wrap, it's ridiculous. I think it's going to go just like that. Bubble mailer it. Bubble mailer. Hey! Put the Blackstone in your car. I'm doing my YouTube, just FYI. But you gotta do your Blackstone in the car. Okay, for uh, for tonight. Okay. 11 ounces. Oh, yeah? Cool. Hey. Hey. All right, and the last thing is the sh jacket. All right, the jacket. All righty, guys. We're about done for the day. Well, I'm not done for the day, but done with this part of my day. Oh, I got like... Got like cobwebs on the bottom from it touching the ground. More cobwebs. I will say I do have a lot of a lot of the little cobweb making spiders. I do have a lot of those in my garage. I don't know what they're called, but uh... all right. I think we're pretty much done. Yeah, I got to get a new, uh, I think I, I just, I don't know. I need to, I just, I keep just putting up with it, but I need a new, a new, uh, in fact, I need to ask my wife about it. A, a new scale or have my wife bring that one home from, from the store. Cause I'm so tired of this thing. I have to reset it all the time. Is it just doesn't keep weight right? It's a and, and it keeps going off like it has a mind of its own. Come on, man. There we go. See, it's already at three ounces, three point seven. Come on, man. Let's reset this thing. I hate it. I'm starting to so AccuTech. So I will say AccuTech. This is the second one I've gone through, and uh, I'm I'm not a fan of the AccuTech. I'm just not. It's it's they they suck. So I I would say uh, the frog NY Froggy. If you're doing this, don't buy an AccuTech, man. They fucking suck. Um, two pounds, good to go. So all right, all right, and uh, that leaves me enough time to run to. Do this pickup for the bows. That's all we got. Uh, let me just show you from start to finish then. Print these labels. Bang, bang. Confirm. $23 to ship these four items. Not too bad. Not too bad at all, actually. Um, and then we're going to we're gonna spit these things out. I'm almost out of labels. I got more, but this thing is almost out of labels. Hopefully it doesn't run out here. And then I go backwards because they spit out backwards. So... 
first label out is the jacket. Going to uh, ya, ya linea, la, la linea, something like that. Anyway, uh, all right, good deal. Next one is the PSP going to Allen. I just keep things in order on my table, so it makes it easier to pack. Next one up is the Game Boy going to Muhammad. And the last one is Derek the card and there's that all right so we're done start to finish there you guys are thank you all for hanging out with me hopefully your sales are going well or start getting better list 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 is fourth quarter that's what i'm doing that's all you can do put your store on vacation on uh uh marketing promotion to try to get some more eyeballs on your stuff and maybe do a five or ten percent or fifteen percent markdown sale that might help too so uh but that's all i got for you guys and uh, we'll see y'all tomorrow assuming we got well actually you won't see me tomorrow unless i source and do some big sourcing but i don't think i'm mm, i might yard sale tomorrow we'll see it's supposed to be nice tomorrow a little brisk and cool but it's supposed to be so it's supposed to be nice so there may be some good yard sales out so i might yard sale i might bring my gopro and then i may show you guys what i brought what i got or i might not and there's that. So we'll just kind of see how I feel tomorrow, but uh, I may go sourcing, but anyway, we'll see you guys. Uh, if not, we'll see you on Monday. Bye everybody.